year what's good youtube dominant evans here thank you for tuning in once again i'm pushing myself i'm keeping these things consistent you feel me yo today's topic is more of a serious matter so i don't want to unroll no b-roll or anything i felt like it was more of a serious matter i follow gary v and um he's one of my biggest inspirations nobody can tell your story like you can tell your story i mean if you get where i'm coming from so gary v was talking about how your story is interesting enough to tell. I know my story because I've, I've been through quite a bit in life. I want to discuss how post-traumatic stress disorder isn't just a military thing. Like it goes on worldwide, in the hood, wherever you at. People like family and friends that are close to me know I always had anger issues. Um, and like even as a kid growing up, I had to go to anger management. Um, and I always wonder why. And you never think about it until you think back on the situation. And this is only like half of my story of shit that I've seen in life. So shit can get real deep. So I'm gonna keep this story kind of shallow. But like seeing somebody die in front of me at a young age, well, not die, but get killed in front of me at a young age, I would say about three, four. I think that and then like my parents always said like, oh, you got dark thoughts. And and I was always kind of like, when it came to fighting, I would black out and couldn't remember anything after the fight. And my anger was just bad. My anger is just terrible. Like I always wondered, but I thought about it and I was like, hmm, maybe seeing violent shit like that of somebody getting killed in front of me at a young age, maybe that's what caused it. And I never had a way to release that type of energy or release like what was going on in my mind. I, I didn't know how to express myself at the age of three, four, but post-traumatic can trigger in your subconscious and you never know about it until like later on in life, you'd be like, oh shit, that shit did happen. Crazy thing is like, I didn't even tell my mom or my parents until about probably like two, two, three years ago. And when I was young, like, they always wonder like, why was I, why did I have so much anger built up inside of me? And I wonder too, but I didn't know how to express myself. I didn't know how to let it go. I would always like sometimes lash out for no reason, or I would get these dark thoughts of, it was kind of crazy, but uh, it's all about getting it out and maturing. So what I want to do for myself is I want to start going to counseling uh, so I can maybe get to the root of all of this. Not that I'm crazy or anything. I'm in a great space right now, but I know I still got some skeletons that I gotta, you know, I still wanna deal with. I don't want them to sit in me for, for time periods like it did when I was younger and not let it out or not have a way to release it. Like I could always talk to my mom and my pops about anything on this planet, but it's just like seeing somebody get killed in front of me my mom would be like how did that happen or you know i just didn't know how to express myself and as a black community i feel like we don't know how to express ourselves at all like we hold shit in so long like we will kill our insides before we let it out to somebody or to that person that hurt us or whatever 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 the situation may be and also as a black community we fail we think like counseling means you're crazy or like mental health i don't even want to talk about the mental health shit but because like i feel like that's that's like it's not overrated but everybody's talking about it but counseling is not a bad thing like especially for the black people i feel like we need it more than anything with all of this shit going on all this fuck shit going on in the world we gotta treat our minds and ourselves better and know that we deserve better so me going to counseling is i'm sure it'll help me out a lot but I know counseling, you basically answer your own questions. It's basically like you tell the counselor how you feel, everything going on. And at the end of the, the sessions, you basically be like, oh, so that was it. Or this this occurred that made me, you know? You end up answering your own questions anyway, but I'd rather use an outside source than talking to my parents or talking to any of my close friends. because. They so close to home that it's gonna be almost like a biased opinion or a biased view. So one step at a time, I'm letting y'all know more and more of who I am, you know? 
I had anger. I had terrible anger issues when I was a kid. I had terrible anger issues, and I'm glad that I'm starting to overcome those issues and that, that anger. Also, a way to release any type of way I'm feeling at the current moment. I have a journal, so I write everything down. It don't matter if it's 2 p.m., 2 a.m., it don't matter. I get up and write it down. So when I always say, like, you gotta treat yourself like you're your favorite person on the planet, which I am, that's what I mean. Not just like the outer appearance, but the inside of you as well. Like the inside is very important. That's, to me, that's the number one imperative thing about us, the inside of us, because the outside we can always fix, but the inside will take a little longer, you know? So treat yourself better. If you have like a dark past or a dark situation go on, let it out. Like talk to somebody. If you don't want to talk to your parents or talk to your friends, go to somebody like a third party and so it won't be a biased view. This is like a piece of the story that I'm slowly revealing to the world because can't nobody tell my story how I can tell my story or the point of view that I have of this life of mine. Thank you for tuning in once again. Dominic Evans here. Um, yeah, you follow, you know, follow, but whatever. Yo, you know all the shit. Follow me, blah, blah, blah. Subscribe if you feel like it. Comment, yo, I want to know, like, I really want y'all to interact with the comments because I want to know, like, some deep, dark shit that y'all been through. Maybe y'all scared to tell somebody, but, or you can message me because I like conversing about shit like this. Um, so, comment, subscribe, like, share maybe it'll help somebody else um yo i love y'all man for real dominic evans here again thank y'all for tuning in again and i'm out